will you in the running. If you've got that coming up soon, bear in mind that there is a free drink in it for you if you get if you get the best St. Patrick's Day joke off to a tea tonight, right? Yeah. That's right, but expecting some a higher standard of St. Patrick's Day jokes coming up right now. So let's get the next actor on top. Get Ever Start Brawling right now. Come on, Ever Start Brawling. Sorry about that, that was, um, that went down the wrong tube, so, which is, uh, imagine you must send that to you after a blowjob. Oh! oh right. Not a good idea. Anyway, so, uh, happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone! Yay! Happy St. Patrick's Day! Yay! The one day we all get to be Irish. Or, in my case, the one day I actually get to be close to having a nationality. So, for anyone who wasn't here last week, um, basically, I don't have a nationality, and if you want to know more, it's on YouTube, so there you go. So, yeah. <laughs> the other good thing as well, not only is it St. Patrick's Day, it's spring as well! Yay! Yay! Spring, it's finally spring, you can tell. Because not only is the sun out and the weather's warmer, but the pigeons are frisky as well. You're, like, you're just walking down the street, I was walking down the street, and there's like some pigeons just like, just to, like here, just, just fucking right in front of me. And I just like, I couldn't, I couldn't get around with these fucking pigeons, just fucking, fucking, you know, just like, you sit in there, it's like, this, I don't, this is not my thing, but... And I'm just sitting there, I'm like, fuck. And they just, they keep going at it. And you're just like, hey, can you get on, you know? And I'm sitting there going, these fucking pigeons have got a better sex life than me at the moment. It's fucking ridiculous. And I'm just like, I'm getting impatient now. I'm just like, I'm going to eyeball this motherfucker. I like, like, say you're the pigeon. I mean, you're, you're not a pigeon, but, you know, maybe you, you could be a pigeon. You know, you could be like a, like a king-sized pigeon if you're in a costume or something. Or maybe, actually, you know, maybe you'd be, a, you'd be an emperor pigeon. Because, you know, that'd be like a big service, you know. But then you'd be like a sort of like protected species because you know there's only one of you, so it's a bit honest, really. Because thinking about it, you know, there's no point protecting one of a kind because they're just going to go extinct anyway. So, <laughs> but, with issues. Yeah. unless you're an asexual emperor pigeon, you can be an asexual emperor pigeon, but then why would you want to fuck in the street anyway? So, I, I, I'm, I'm lost, anyways. So I'll, I'll stop getting distracted. Oh, so, anyway, I'm just I'm eyeballing this pigeon, right? I'm just looking at him, he just keeps going. And he looked up at me, he was like, like... <laughs> fuck! <laughs> fuck you looking at? You haven't seen a pigeon fuck before, huh? <laughs> Why are you fucking looking at, huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> ah, I get it. You like the watch, huh? <laughs> you, you sick fuck! <laughs> you, you pigeon puffer motherfucker! <laughs> Go fuck yourself! <laughs> and it's, it's kind of... The one thing I... The one thing about doing this movement is... You kind of find it hard to stop at the same time and just keep going. And I was, I was thinking about it, I was like thinking, you know, male prostitutes, right? They must get repetitive strain injury. This is what they do their fucking life, you know, just going like that. And I just sat there and I thought, but in America, they must have court systems, whole legal laws over this whole thing. Surely. And you just imagine, like, welcome to Schiller and Bernstein, Mr. Sampson, how can I help you? Well, as you can see, I've been a loyal customer for the last 20 years, and I can't stop doing this. So I want to sue every single client I have just had for the last 20 years. Can you help me do that? Uh, well, uh, have you got any proof of these clients that you've had over the last 20 years? Proof? You need fucking proof? Look at me, man. Look at what I'm doing. I'm a 24-hour fucking machine. You should see my house. There's fucking holes in the walls everywhere. I've got a fucking water well in my garden. Do you know how I built it? Me! Just me! I was lying down Sunday! Well, Mr. Shovak, what I meant was, do you have any invoices or any kind of, like, clientele list that you can give us? I have checks. Very well then, sir. And, uh... I hope you have been impressed by my fucking routine. I've been practicing this all day. It's my best bet. But yeah, so... Yeah. Like, uh... Just walking around all day, just doing like that. People just look at me going, what the fuck are you doing? It's just going around, but it's great. It's great when you're in Sainsbury's because at least everyone gets out of your way and you just get straight to the toilet. Like, excuse me, coming through. Just practicing for tonight. Yeah, I really should stop traveling over this town thing. But anyway, so like, so then it was just um, getting there and then. Is that four minutes already? Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, should have told me things better. So, 
<laughs> but yeah, I, uh, <laughs> so, oh, I'm just gonna kill it. I've got, um, actually no, no, the best thing, the best thing was the last day. I was on a date last night, I didn't practice it then because that would have been a bad idea, but you, know, you just imagine saying to her, like, uh, she's like, what are you doing? I'm just, well, I'm just practicing for tonight, honey. No, 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 tomorrow night, tomorrow night. I'm not practicing for tonight, you know, oh my god. Practicing for tomorrow night, okay. She's like, okay. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna kill it. Oh, no, no, no. Shut the fuck up, let me ask you.